I'm Rob and this is the Racket NX Review by Barefoot Gaming. Racquetball, pinball, tennis, there's a bunch of words you could use to describe this game. What you're doing is you use one controller, this works on the Vive, on the Rift, and on Windows Mixed Reality sets. So it's got different modes. It's got arcade mode. It's got single player mode where you can play against your best time. You can play against your friend's best time. You can play against your friends. I didn't have any luck finding anyone multiplayer, which is kind of an issue in general when you're playing VR games. There are just less people to draw from. So obviously this will vary depending on the time of day that you're playing. But the concept is simple. You start on a little circle, you kind of look down and you've got this funky skeleton that you are. A big dome type planetarium thing kind of builds over top of you full of hexagons. And your goal is to take this cool ball and just pound the tar out of the targets. And this thing is full 360 degrees all around you. So you hit the ball towards a target, you hit the ball towards another target, back and forth you go, spinning around in circles. If you pull your trigger, you can pull the ball back to you. This is all based on a timer that is running on the bottom. If you run out of time before you finish all of the sets, you lose. But what you can do is you can add to your time. There are little pluses that you can hit that actually give you extra time, buys you time, and then as you move on, there are like little skull and crossbones which take away time. It doesn't really matter which mode you're playing, arcade, single player, whatever you're playing, you're always going to be in one of these arenas and you're gonna be pounding this thing back and forth trying to make the best time. But that does not take away from the fun aspect of this. And the music is really, really catchy. In fact, the targets that are inside of the hexagons actually have like a synthesizer going. And it just, it helps you beat the ball back and forth. And because this thing uses spatial surround sound, you can kind of hear where the ball and where the targets and stuff are. And as much as that's advertised in the game, I still found my best bet was using my eyes. When you pull the trigger, the ball that you're hitting back and forth leaves a trail, which kind of gives you an idea of where it is because it'll sometimes go really, really quick. Another thing I should mention is when you start racking up multiple shots, you get one in a row, two in a row, three in a row, five in a row, you can actually build up a splash damage where if you get the ball to hit a certain spot and it comes down these arrows, when you hit the ball after that, it'll do like a splash damage. Plus, when you hit it really hard and you get a little bit of curve on it, you can actually have it sliding along, hitting multiple targets at once. The concept isn't super complicated, and I hope that you can tell from the gameplay that I'm playing over top here what this game actually is like. And the price of this game is $21.99 Canadian. So how about we get to the actual review? Out of five pinball flippers, I would give this a solid four out of five. Honestly, this game is all kinds of amazeballs. If this doesn't look like something you'll like, stay away. Clearly this isn't gonna be for everyone, but I suck at this game. I am not good and I was having so much fun. Every time it went where I wanted to, it was like a massive victory for me. It's cool because you can get lost in the music. You can just have fun hitting it back and forth and trying to beat your best time. This is a game that will make you sweat. If you have ever had a friend come over and they put on your VR kit and they are soaking the sponge within five, 10 minutes in doing basic stuff, you do not want to put them in this game. This is a game where you will break a sweat. In fact, this is also a game where you have to be super careful that you are not damaging your surroundings. It warns you right off the bat, put the wrist strap on, do it. I play a lot of VR. That being the case, I am very familiar with where my chaperone is. I know my gameplay space and you will note while I was recording this, I smoked the actual webcam. It went flying. I had to stop my recording. Luckily nothing broke so I could continue to do the review. But yeah, this game is really immersive. This is a game that will make you move. It will make you sweat. And if you enjoy this kind of music at all, then I think you're really going to like this game. That's it. That's the review. Four out of five. Solid four out of five. You guys did a really good job making this game. Thank you so much again for watching another review. Don't forget to subscribe. I know you. I see you there in that shirt that hasn't subscribed yet. Subscribe. How are you going to know when our videos are coming out? Don't forget to like. If you leave a comment, I will always work my butt off to make sure that I get to it and I help you any way I can. Thanks again for watching another Barefoot Review, and we'll talk to you later. See ya.